guys here bringing you another great video to the channel if this is your first time here make sure you like all my videos share my videos comment all my videos and if you still haven't done so make sure you hit that subscribe button and enable bell notification so you don't miss out on great things i do on this channel like drop new videos or go live because trust me guys you never ever want to miss out on things like that all right guys so if you've been with my channel for a while now you guys know i do a lot of live streaming when it comes to video games and one of the games i've been playing lately is gran turismo and you know when you get that game it's a playstation exclusive you know you want to play you want to get the full experience so what did i do I went ahead and got a Logitech G923 steering wheel, which is right here. As you see, I've been using this. So, in the videos, you can't see, there's times that I go live stream that I actually show my face, but I got the camera so high, you don't see me using the steering wheel. And that's fine and all, but one thing that I don't like about my steering wheel setup is that it is on my desk. I have to put it on my desk. I got no other place to put it. Like if I try to use it on this computer here, this is just a cabinet. I can't put the, the thing on here. Now, and I have so much space here. Where my computer is at right now, which is right where you're at, I got my computer set up. I got a small limited space. I, I can put the steering wheel and everything. I can use it perfectly and everything. But sometimes it gets a little cramp and everything. Oh, and when my wife wanna pass by and everything, it gets a little cramp, I can't really move too much. So that, that's one big thing. But the biggest thing that I have when it comes to that is my pedals. That is the biggest problem I have. My pedals are just loose on the floor. And it's not that heavy. Like every time you step on there and everything, it moves. It easily moves. It, luckily that I'm so close to the thing that I have something behind there that I'm able to keep it in place. So when I hit the pedals, it doesn't move too much. But it still jiggles around left and right. What about if I want to play right here? If I, if I put the pedals here and I want to play here towards this computer screen, I won't be able to use it because it's going to keep slipping. And if I did want to put it here, how am I going to do it? I'm going to have to buy a whole new table just to put it there. So it'll be a little, little table that I don't think is going to be that good. So what I did is I found a permanent solution for that situation. I got a racing steering wheel stand. So basically, it's a foldable stand meant for the Logitech. That you can put it on there, keep it permanently on there, and you can actually fold it. So I can actually keep it on the side over here. I then have a little space here that I can, I can probably keep it here and tuck it away. I don't, it won't take up too much space. Right now, I just have it on the bottom of my computer desk in the corner so it doesn't bother anybody. But it looks a little messy and it doesn't look very presentable. So I decided to get one. So I did get one. It's in this desk right here. It's pretty heavy. <laughs> As you see, I was struggling a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unbox this stand and put it together for you in this video. All right, so let's go ahead, switch myself down so you guys can see what I'm doing. All right guys, so I'm right here, this is the box and right here is my pedals, as you can see they're right there. So I'm gonna open the box here and I kinda started opening them because I thought it was another box inside but when I, I got this through Amazon, as you can see, Amazon label right there. Oh, well, it comes in a brown box, I may, it might be like a, uh, like an Alibaba Express type of setup. So basically, this is the instructions how to put it together. So when you put the plate, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it from there. Let me bring it closer for you guys. So basically, this is how it's gonna look. Um, this is the, gonna be the top piece right here. This is where my steering wheel goes, my shift that goes there, and the pedal is here. And then you screw them all on there. So, the top one, I'm not too worried about screwing out down because that one doesn't move. But the main thing is I want to screw down the pedals. So this is telling you how to put it all together. And when it's fully finished, it's gonna look something like this. The pedals there, and the screen wheel there, and the shifter right there, whichever side you want to put it, if you're lefty or righty. There you go. I might put it on left just so I can think I'm in the Japan. There you go. <laughs> Pretty simple, it tells you everything it comes with. These are all the stuff that comes in the box. It tells you every direction there. So let's get back to it and get it down there and start working on it. All right. And they, they packed this pretty well. These are all the pieces. I'm just gonna take out all the pieces one by one and take them out from the bubble wrap. I can put it faster. I already got confused. I already confused myself. The bag of nuts right there. And 
And a good thing I'm glad it came in all black because since the, the thing is all black, I'm glad it did. All right, taking all this out one by one. So making sure I got everything out because it's going to take a while. This is the bottom plate for the pedals. And then this is the folding plate on top that goes on top. This is where I hook up the, the steering wheel plate right here. And then we'll go from there. So that's everything right there, guys. Alright guys, so as you can see, the stand is put together. I know I got cut off midway through with my battery died, so I had to recharge it. But this is where I left off when you all done now. Um, put it on the pedals. And lucky with this one, this has a screw on the bottom, so I screwed the pedals down. So the pedals don't move. As you can see, I'm lifting the whole stand up with the pedals. So that's good. Now I'm going to hook up the steering wheel up here. Which... I'm gonna put it right up here. I'm gonna put this down here because there's the parts in here that gives you a little bit of playroom down here so you guys can put it on there. And once that, you can tighten it up. Now, you do have the option if you want the screws that go in the back part of this down here, you're more than welcome to put that on. But I think with the hooks itself here, it'd be good enough. The only reason I screwed these down because I don't want this when I'm stepping on it. It doesn't fly off or anything it moves around it stays in here here i'm pretty sure i can keep this here i'm gonna put the pedal or the shifter on this side as you see we'll go here and it has a place for it there and that's it and i go from there after i'm done running all the wires making sure the wires line up here perfectly and everything i'll show you the after picture and everything all right so i'm gonna go ahead and finish this up Guys, so that's the finishy touch. Look at it. Look how nice it is. The stream wheel right here, and the shifter right here, and the pedals down there. Look how nice it is. Very compact, very well organized. You see, I routed all the wires down there with the wraps and everything. The plug for everything's back there. But overall, I am very pleased with this. And right, let's see how it works when I actually use it for when I do car racing on the computer. All right, let's get back to my final thoughts. All right, guys, so as you saw, the whole project I did with the steering wheel, I think it's an awesome, awesome thing. I'm very loving it. And then when I start using it, you're probably gonna see more videos on me doing it on my second computer instead of on my main computer, just so I can get the whole picture 
going towards the computer will see me driving. So we'll see what that comes out when I try to do stuff like that. So if you like this video and everything I had to show you today, go ahead and give me a big old thumbs up. Show me all the love and support that you guys love to show the channel. Also, don't forget to hit that share button because sharing is caring. And we want to make sure that everyone's aware of everything we do on this channel so they don't miss a thing just like you don't miss a thing. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, put them in the comment box down below. I'll get to you as soon as I can, when I can, as fast as I can. And if you still haven't done since the end of the video, guys, make sure to hit the subscribe button and enable bell notification so you get notified every time we drop great videos like this one or whenever we go live. Because trust me, guys, you never, ever want to miss out. And that's it for today. Until next time, guys, I'm out of here. Peace.